All right, guys, so we're leaving the car meet now and we're on our way to Old Orchard Beach. Isaac's running them up. Let's get it. So this is my friend Isaac's Miata. He's got these really nice halos for his headlights, but the sickest part of this car right now are these taillights. He's got these like infinity taillights on his Miata. I love that. Those look so good on this car. All right, so we're down here now. We're gonna walk around and check out some of the cars that are hanging out down here. We got this Willys featured in a couple of videos ago. Wow, look at the meats on the back of this thing. On these weld wheels, those are so nice. Got this 56 Thunderbird. I was checking this car out actually, the interior is beautiful. The way it matches the car, I mean like literally paint to interiors, solid. What do we got over there? Some Corvettes. Got the Z, that thing is beautiful. <clears throat> Someone's bagged rat rod sitting over here. Got the uh, Porsche 911. This thing is wild. Ah, it is a Chrysler 300. I was trying to figure out what this car was from the window up there. <clears throat> and um, I was like, I think it's a Chrysler 300, but the fins didn't look like they're slanted diagonal from up there. So this is uh, a lot cooler to see way, way up. Uh, Close in person. I mean, man, some of these cars are just beautiful. All of them look like they were like detailed right before they were thrown uh, thrown over here. Man, got an M series, couple MGs. I like seeing these together. All right, all right, we got the Camaro. A little uh, C10 sitting over here. This is kind of cool. This is someone's like food truck or something. I'm assuming. What a what a sweet. I love things like this. When you when people are like you know putting some time into these older trucks and just making them something you know useful and cool again. <clears throat> we uh, gave that truck some attention in our last video. This is kind of cool to see up from there. I was um, trying to figure out what this was. Like I said, we were standing up in that window all the way out there, trying to figure out what was over here. So that's pretty neat. We got this little Pontiac. I'm gonna guess some sort of Sunfire. It's a Grand Prix, I guess. Let's see if we can see anything back here. No, it's just a Grand Prix. It's kind of neat. I mean, really clean. I really like these wheels. <clears throat> Those are a nice touch. Man, this BMW, this is a Z1. I love the offset on this. Kind of reminds me of my purple truck wheels a little bit. They're a lot. Uh, they're a lot different, but the staggered star wheels. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm actually not too familiar with these. That is beautiful. So check this out on this Z1. The door slides right down. The hat is so sick. Well, this car is beautiful. This is something I really want to spend some time on. I wish I knew a little bit more on these. Unfortunately, I don't. But we got this convertible top. What a what a crazy car. That is definitely BMW trying to think of the future and just doing something crazy, but the Euro front plate. <clears throat> oh, we got the Bonneville over here. This is pretty nasty. We got this E9 BMW over here. Love the hella lights. That seems so just period correct. Ah, oh, man. These are some beautiful cars. When I say period correct, it kind of looks like someone kind of messed with this in the 90s a little bit or something. And 
that's what they put on there. So it's old school for sure. But, but I have some beautiful, beautiful BMWs down here. This car is so sick though. Imagining that the window back here goes down, it kind of looks like it does. And then your window right here folds down as well. So you have a pillarless car. Oh, look at the shift knob. Let me zoom in on that. A little BMW logo on that. This looks pretty comfy. I mean, a little tight, but these seats are pretty far back. But everything about this car is beautiful. And for some of my more American car boys, we got this Plymouth over here. <laughs> the Audi R8. Wow. Definitely so much drag car. You got the shut off switch back here. Some drag race spec stuff, the roll cage. It's really cool. There's a lot of like a uh, factory interior still in here, even though it's a drag car. <laughs> That's so sick. I gotta show. Uh, I gotta show this E9 some more love. That's beautiful. <laughs> Liam's still geeking out on the Z1. That thing is beautiful, though. And like I said, this is a. <laughs> That's so funny. They're saying it's a European. Kind of reminds me of like a European version of a K car. But back over to the uh, Trans Am. Like I said, we just have a couple minutes to just kind of walk around and just wanted to show you guys some of the cars that were kicking in here. This will be kind of a quicker video. This has got a. Um, I think this is called an 850. We're gonna go check the back. My bad, boys. Yes, sir. 850. We're right on the money. Another Cadillac down here. <clears throat> I mean, there's just so many beautiful cars in here. Another GMC. One of these older style GM product trucks. Wow. This thing. I wish you guys could see this in person. This is beautiful. Real, real clean looking. <laughs> that wheel. This thing must have some seriously low miles or maybe somebody redid it because there's a newer style deck in there. But man. Some earlier geared Mustang. Probably, probably around 65, don't quote me on it. We're just kind of taking a shot in the dark here. <coughs> Next to the newer style Mustang, of course. We're over by the Chrysler 300 now. Look at the hood, it's even prettier. <laughs> That's awesome. Is this a 5.3 or 6.0? 6.2. 6.2? Six six two. Yeah. Man. I was checking out this Volvo from up there, and I was like, wow, this thing is so clean. <laughs> yeah, wow. Right. Jeez, I mean, this car, this car is beautiful, man. That's crazy to see. Jeez. <laughs> crazy. This is awesome. Somebody's got some time into this for sure. That's, that's so nice. I love the... Light bars that run right on the front bumper as well. Dually set up, wow. That thing is sweet. Right over here we have this beautiful El Camino. Another SS, we we're checking that up from up there. We got the Cougar. Convertible. I love this, it's kind of seeing, seeing cars like this style. This must be real early 70s, late 60s, somewhere in there I imagine. Reminds me of like uh, some of the first Hot Wheels cars. I'm, you know, they have these style Cougar Hot Wheels cars just like red lines. So that's so, so, so cool to see. And really why I walked over here. Is that a, uh, is that a Volvo? Ooh, I am not sure at all. Sorry, we are gonna have to check this thing out too. Sorry, it kind of caught me uh, off guard. I wasn't expecting to come check out all the cars. So we were just kind of hanging out. It's a Renault. Wow. I've never seen a plate like that either. Man, look how small this car is too. It's got the sliding windows. Set of windows that go up and down, they slide back and forth. But we are we are over to this boat. This boat right here. <laughs> look at the engine in this thing. Older Chevy engine. Oh my God, this thing's crazy. Like, oh. Was was not expecting to see this in a, in a kind of like a car museum at this point. Um, there's just people are storing their cars here for the winter, so they're all just in this beautiful building, just hanging out. But we're gonna walk back now, film a couple more cars. That was cool. I was not expecting to see an LS in this thing. 
I'm, I am completely wowed by that right now. Another Porsche. The last two cars I wanted to grab a quick clip of, besides the Corvette, and another Mustang, I didn't even see that. But the, uh, the last two cars I wanted to grab is this Acura Legend. I was really impressed by this car. This thing is really, really cool, very clean. And actually, that's got the same wheels that we have on the, uh, the black two-wheel drive right now. And, of course, the GNX. Well, now that we've looked at the GNX real quick, we're gonna peace out of here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check out some more videos. Like I said, this is just a quick walk around, but I wanted to show it to you guys. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you wanna see some more content in the future.